Good morning everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dirt Green Steel. So this morning we're uh, pumping out our underground water lines for our irrigation because uh, I kind of forgot to do it. I drained all the pumps but I never pumped the under underground water line out. So Dad, Strength and I are out with the uh, trash pump, pumping them out real quick. So uh, we're going to get these all pumped out. Looks like we're making us an ice skating rink. Uh, main reason of beginning this video is I want to remind everybody that uh, this Thursday night at 7 p.m., Dad, Strength, and I are going to be doing a uh, live video again on YouTube. So uh, that's 7 uh, p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time, I believe. There's a helicopter flying over. That's interesting. So, uh... But anyways, uh, so I'd like to uh, invite everybody to watch that uh, live video with us. We're going to be doing question and answer and uh, whatever conversation else we decide to get into. So we'd like you to join us and uh, give us some questions to answer. And we're going to try to get my dad in on it and uh, see if we can get him to uh, make a guest appearance, I suppose you could call it. So anyways, let's see what else happens today that's video worthy but uh, like I said the main reason of this video is just to uh, remind everybody that uh, of the live video coming up I know I put a picture out in my YouTube community but some guys probably will watch a video before they look at that so anyways we're about done pumping here so uh, it takes about uh, three minutes to pump one out so we're only running about a oh, thousand feet that away so it's, it's all six inch underground plastic pipe so we just didn't want the risers to freeze and split so we haven't had a problem yet we thought well we better uh better get out pump them out before they do freeze and split because it's a lot of work to change one there's about a oh probably i think we put about 10 bags of concrete around each one so there's a pretty big chunk of concrete under them so uh it's a lot of work to change one especially this close to the the pivots and the pumps and everything see what else happens today well we did find something to do to make this video longer so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, be going to lunch soon but when we get back from lunch we're going to be putting a three-point hitch on the 720 so uh, before we go these links the adjustable links for the three-point hitch are all froze up so what we're going to do before we go to lunch is we're going to take some of the uh, the creepola we're going to soak them really good so that when we get back, they'll be uh, soaked up and hopefully we'll be able to get them to turn. Because as you can see right here, they're pretty chewed up from uh, pipe wrenches over the years. So we're going to free them all up so they turn easily. We what we want to do is we want to get this all bolted on so it's not laying around the shop it needs to go on the tractor anyways so we got the new handles that go up here we got to replace all this and actually when uh, we went to new Paris tractor parts we uh, I told them to actually give us a worst case scenario of a three-point hitch that needs all freed up so that we can uh, make uh, YouTube content out of it so, I mean, what's the point of getting one that's all freed already when you're in the YouTube business? You need content. So, we're going to show you on this video how to get these freed up. And put it on the tractor. So that should be a good amount. We'll let that soak while we go to lunch. And I'll uh, we'll come back and see what we got. I don't know what's for lunch today, but I'm pretty hungry. So hopefully it's something good. We'll see. So we're back from lunch now. So I'll show you what we got here to work with. Here, this one side has a three point hitch for 720. Here's the other side. We gotta get all this freed up. We have uh, all new bolts for the sway blocks. So we gotta get them bolts out. And uh, we 
actually got a, uh, it's an aftermarket, but looks just like the third link that was originally on the tractor. So we got all those. We got a uh, slave lock bolt kit from New Paris Tractor Parts. Uh, this spring, well, the tractor's already got one on it. But I guess these springs hold a little down pressure on them if you have mounted cultivators. So, got that. The two new handles for the top of the uh, links that I have over, the adjustable links I have over in the vise. And then two of the pins. So, we should have everything we need to put, well, other than some bolts. We're going to have to figure out what bolts we need. Uh, I got a whole bucket of bolts, but there's a lot of bolt that, bolts that weren't the right ones. So uh, we're going to have to get some of this mounted up, see what bolts we need, and we'll either have to go to John Deere or just the hardware store to get some bolts. So uh, let's go work on them uh, adjustable links over in the vise and see if the Creepola got them broke loose. So, I tried to get these loosened up. They're not ready yet. And I realized that I could spray some uh, penetrating down through them. So I turned them upside down, soaked them real good. So maybe it'll get through and go on both sides of the threads now. So I'm going to leave them sit for a little bit longer and go work on the arms of the three-point hitch themselves. So we're going to go ahead and start tearing these uh, arms apart. Uh, we just want the brackets to put them on the tractor first and then we'll put the arms on. So we got to drive the pins out and we got to take the sway blocks all out because the sway blocks, they've got all kinds of different combinations of big square nuts and weird washers stacked up to make the sway blocks work. And we actually have a kit from New Paris Tractor Parts that eliminates all that and makes it the proper way. So we're going to try the hard impact out. Let me get this pin drill out. not right. We've got everything right to go back in there. Well, that doesn't even fit in there. Um, yeah, see if they had used the right bolts, you don't have to worry about that. Let's see if this will work. Try the hard impact out. Yep. That was pretty impressive. Start 
Yeah. Okay, so we're starting to put the, the uh, three-point hitch on the uh, 720 now. So to get prepared to put the brackets on these brackets right here, we have to make sure these threads are cleaned on these studs. So I got me a uh, die and a uh, socket and ratchet. We're just going to run it on there, clean them threads real good. See you later. Clean them threads real good. And I did uh, put some lubricant on there so it's not dry. It's got three bowl on it. I've already got this stud done. Don't mind the construction sounds next door still. studs cleaned up now we got to get this bolt out because we'll put a different bolt in here we we'll take that bolt out so now we got to go grab, gather up some fasteners and we'll get that bracket put on So what I'm doing now is I uh, took a tap and I ran in these holes in these three-point hitch arm brackets just to clean them up. There was some rust in them so I can make the assembly a lot easier. Uh, what I got is I went and got new bolts. Uh, it takes a uh, three by three and a quarter inch long three-quarter inch bolts. Uh, it takes uh, four of those and it takes two four-inch long three-quarter bolts and it takes uh, two 9 16 bolts. There's one on each side of 9 16 So what I'm going to do is I'm cleaning up all these surfaces that go against the tractor so that no dust or no rust works out and eventually loosen stuff up. What we're going to do is once we get all this put together, we're going to take the tractor out, we're going to plow with it, we're going to work it, and then we're going to make sure that the draft control and all that works. And then if all that works, everything is ready. We're going to take all this back apart, sandblast it really good, and then we'll paint it when we restore the tractor. So we hated to put all this together, sandblast it, paint it, and then find out draft control or something don't work like that. So uh, I'm going to get these cleaned up and put them back on. Okay, so we're going to get our bracket put on the tractor. We've got two shims on there that were required. Okay. So we're going to start with our 9 16 bolt under here. Get it started. Get it start. Well, there it is. There we go. Okay, that one started. Now we're going to come to the back. Put this one in. Get him started. We're gonna come up here. We got two nuts, two lock washers. Put in these two studs. Then we got this bolt, nut lock washer, and this bolt, nut lock washer. Now, I'm going to snug the little one up a little bit first. Let's see. Then I'm going to come up. I'm going to tighten in up there some. Then come back and we'll tighten the big ones up a little bit. Just tighten them up.
it's tight. Now we'll uh, tighten it. Get the, this link back on, and uh, this side will be done. We're going to put the third link on this time. Okay, so we're going to start putting the three point hitch back together. Now we've got both sides brackets on. I'm going to show you how to do this side, and I'll show you how to put the third link on. So, we're going to start with our bottom arm here. Loop your pins up. And slide in easy. There's our bottom arm. Now we're going to put our lift arm on, or adjustable lift arm. Which I haven't got these freed up yet. Because it's kind of hard to hold them when they're not on the tractor. So it would be easier to free them up on the tractor. I'm going to bring this up. Put this pin in. I'm not putting any of the clips in right now because I'm going to take all this back apart here in a little bit if I can't get it freed up on the tractor. Uh, sway blocks, we're not going to do them right now. So now we're going to put our third link on here. Not sure which hole we want it in, but we'll just put it in a hole just for representation. This is a reproduction third link. It's not an original, but it looks like an original. Oops. It just sticks in there in that groove and you put the hitch pin clip back in. So the only thing we've got really left to do is uh, put the spring on for the down pressure that goes from here to here. We gotta get that spring put back on and uh, put this arm assembly all on and we're done. We've got a complete three point on a 720. That's how you put one on. So anyways, don't forget, 7 o'clock p.m. Thursday night is our live video we're going to do. Uh, that's Central Standard Time, right, Sausage? Yeah, Central Standard Time, which is 7 it's 5 o'clock right now, but I guess it won't matter because by the time you watch this video, it's not live anyways. So anyways, uh, if you like this episode of Dirt Grand Steel, give me a like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next one.